of this video we are going to create stars so the player has a better feeling of the ship flying in space. So let's create a new scene. And this scene is actually going to contain all nodes we will need to display all the stars. So I'm going to add a simple node to use it as a container. And you can see that this node is pretty basic. It can only hold the script which makes it perfect for holding other nodes. I going to rename it stars. And I will save it in the scenes folder as a stars.tsn. Now for the stars, I'm going to add a sprite node. And I'm going to name it star far zero. I'm naming it far because we will have closer stars as well. And zero because we're going to have more than one and there can't be two seamless node with the same name. For the texture of this sprite, I'm going to load the stars far sprite. And I'm also going to disable centered, so its origin is at the top left corner. Now we want this sprite to start outside the view. And since its size is 180 by 180, which you can see by clicking on this arrow here, I'm going to set its Y position to minus 180. What we want this node to do is to go all the way down until it reaches this point and then to get back to the top and do it again. And this is something we have to do from a script of course. So I'm going to add a script to this node. And let's save it in the scripts folder under the name star.gd. Hit create. I remove what we don't need. And the first thing we will do is define a velocity. So I'll declare a variable named velocity equals to a vector2. I won't give it a value since I want to do it from this vector. And in order to do so, we just have to type the keyword sport before declaring the variable. If we click on the node, we can see that now we have the velocity as a property. And this is pretty handy for when we want to reuse the same script but with different values, which we will do in a moment. Let's go back to the script. And having defined a velocity, we now need to apply it to this node's position. So I'm going to enable the process callback and create it down here. And in here, we're going to translate this node using as an offset velocity by delta which can also be seen as displacement equals to velocity by delta sign. And to get the sprite back to the top when it reaches the bottom, we will ask if the y position is bigger or equal to the view's height, which we can get by saying get view per rect that size that height. And if it's so, we will set the position to 0 minus 180 by creating a new vector 2 with 0 as x and minus 180 as y. I'll click on the start node and set its vertical velocity to 50. Let's give it a shot. We can see the stars moving down. And when it reaches the bottom, it goes back to the top. We need a few more nodes to fill the view. So I'm going to duplicate this node by selecting it and hitting Ctrl Z. I'm going to increase its Y position by 180. So we have it right above the last one. I'm going to duplicate this one one more time and increase its Y position by 180 as well. And this will pretty much fill the whole view. Let's give it a shot. And there we have it. We are now going to create the closed stars, but I don't want them to be siblings of the first stars. So I'm going to add an node to D. I'll name it stars4. And I'm going to make all the stars we created a child of it. If we run the scene again, it still works. Since the other nodes are going to be pretty similar to these ones, 
I'll duplicate this node and I'll rename them all close. I'm going to select these three nodes. You can see that we can edit multiple nodes at once. And for the texture, I'm going to load the stars close sprite. And let's also set the vertical velocity to 100, so they go faster. Let's try it out. And there we have it. We just now need to instantiate this scene on the stage game scene. So let's go to the game stage. And in the world node, I'm going to instantiate the star scene. And you can see that the stars are above the ship, which shouldn't be the case. To fix it, we just have to move the stars node above the ship so it gets drawn first. Let's run the project to see how it looks. And it looks pretty cool. But I actually want the closest stars to be above the ship while having the first stars below. So in the star scene, on the stars close node, I'm going to set the Z, which represents the draw order in 2D, to 10. Now even though these nodes have Z set to 0, they are all relative to their parents. And since this node is a child of a node that doesn't have a Z value, it doesn't matter if its Z value is set to relative or not, it will be absolute, and 10 is bigger than the chip's Z value, which is 0. Let's give it a shot. And there we have it. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks to all the patrons that have been supporting this tutorial, I really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.